Ahoy! Gio Capelli here again, um, up here in Anacortes, Washington. We were up here this weekend doing some filming with John Neal, hanging out with the Scallywags at Marine Tech College. Um, and what a better time to do a tech tip. So this is tech tip number 40. We're doing the exhaust temperature alarm, which I'll tell you what is the best value in any insurance you can pay, you could pay for. Um, so the exhaust alarm goes to your exhaust mixing elbow and it is a band clamp that has a temperature sensor on there. And as soon as this exhaust mixing elbow reaches 170 degrees, it sends an alarm to the helm station, not only a visual, but an audio alarm. It's going to tell you before right your is gonna get our block attention. temperature sensor, before you melt your exhaust hose that, hey, there's a problem, there's an obstruction in your raw water cooling system. We don't have enough cooling water. Shut it down, investigate, get cooling water to your engine. Keep rolling. Awesome. So, Giovanni, how hard is it to install one of these? Could a do-it-yourself person? This is such a good beginner DIY project, right? So you have, it'll give you some practice in cutting a hole <laughs> in for mm. your display. Um, and honestly, it's a couple wires. You make sure that you have your OCP as close to the battery or, or as close to your power source you're pulling from as possible. And you run your positive and negative wires to this band clamp and back to your exhaust alarm and it's done. It's a done deal. The kit comes with wiring diagram, but it's really, you know, some OCP, two wires back to the battery from the battery to your exhaust alarm and back and you're in business. Simple as could be. All right. Uh, let's go down the engine room. Can you show me how this band clamp works and where you put it? Let's do it. All right, Gio, we're down here in this uh, tight little engine space. No, here we are in the most comfortable of spaces. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a lot more accessible than most exhaust elbows in typical sailboat engines. This is really atypical, but for a pirate ship, it's very fitting. So you have a dry stack here coming up with it, or with a thermometer. This thermometer is typically at what? What temperature? Between six and 800 degrees. Between six and 800 degrees. So exhaust is coming up here, goes to your exhaust elbow. You have raw water injecting right here that brings that to below 170 degrees. So all in like two inches. Yep. That's so the crazy. important part about this band clamp right here on our exhaust uh, temperature alarm is that you have this on the metal. If you have this on your rubber, on your exhaust hose, it, it's not installed properly and it's not going to function. It's not going to protect your engine as it should. Make sure you have this clamp on your exhaust mixing elbow. Um, cause if not, so you, if you lose cooling water here, what's going to happen is this five to 800 degree air exhaust air is going to melt your hose in about eh, 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then your boat's filling up with potentially seawater and definitely exhaust from your diesel engine. So this will save you so much heartache for the 80 bucks that it costs. And look at this DY irs two wires. It's that simple. Two wires, a band clamp. So you mount your alarm panel up at your helm station. You connect your wiring. You torque down your band clamp, and bam, you have better insurance for cheaper than anyone will give it to you through Geico. So, Mike, thank you very much again for letting us come and use the Black Pearl as a training aid. This is an awesome boat, and there's so much learning that happens on here. We appreciate you letting us do tech tip number 40, exhaust temperature alarm. So I hear that you've actually tested this exhaust temperature alarm. Is this true? Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out. It's totally true. You know, it's in the name of research. <laughs> so I was getting ready to do my semi-annual impeller replacement. And I had my wife say, I said, hey, dear, this is what we need to do. I put on this this alarm because I have to admit I did not have this the first 10 years of cruising this boat, but I do now. And so I want to protect my engine. 
uh, Giovanni is 100% correct. Like this is the best alarm and insurance you can have on your boat. And so I said, well, let's do this. I'm gonna go in the engine room, have, have Lynette start the engine, and I'm gonna close the sea valve. And I wanted, I figured out, I said, what we're gonna do is when I get it closed, I'm gonna time it and see how many seconds, and if the temperature gauge goes up on the actual engine coolant, until the alarm sounds. And my wife says, that sounds like a bad idea. And I'm like, no, no, this is this is what we have to do because I want to prove that it works. And in the name of science, of course. In the name of science. <laughs> so we're down, I'm down in the engine space, which is kind of cramped. And I have the engine running and uh, we had it up to temperature and everything. We wanted to make it a real life situation. And I started closing the C valve and I'm getting my stopwatch ready. And when I got the valve halfway closed, just reduced seawater flow by 50%. So it's an inch and a half uh, through hull going into this 100 horsepower engine. 50% or so, whatever that is, halfway down, the alarm sounded. The engine was still running. There was still a Not bit right of cooling uh, water going through, seawater to the system, but it was going to eventually overheat. I didn't ruin the impeller. I didn't ruin the engine, nothing, because I had an exhaust temperature alarm. And so, uh, I think it is one of the best things that you can do for your boat and for a peace of mind. So once again, thanks for watching.